A welcome back to Frequency Phoenix 555 for your daily message. Oh, message is Big Cat. Guess what? It's another day to get great. I've got to affix my spectacles of truth because I can't see it for you otherwise. Namaste, Big Cat. Come in. Come on. I've got intel. And it's a foot. The planetary energy is today, Big Cat. Sun in Scorpio squares Jupiter in Aquarius, no less. Good morning, Nicolette. Glad you could pop in. Fist bump. Mm -hmm. As I was saying before I interrupted myself, the Sun in Scorpio squares Jupiter, Jupiter in Aquarius. This, this is a conflicting aspect. Comes as a double-edged sword, like the sword of Damocles. Should you or shouldn't you? The thing about shouldn't, right? If you keep saying should, you end up shouldn't on yourself, blood. There's no should in our hood. What's that? The Big Cat Chronicles, as it continues. Mm-hmm. Sword of Damocles today, darling dears. Commitments come become more important in the form of more contracts, contacts, long-term engagements, darling dear. Somebody's about to be picked up or signing on the dotted line. Having read the smaller print, realize as you get to new levels, you will be bucking up on all sorts of devils, darling dear. But as you climb, you knock one off. Yes, baby. As, what do they say? If things are get rough, getting rough, you keep going. When the dotty get tough, you keep going. When there seems no way out, you keep going. Come through. Come on, Imali. Posh, clap. We don't stop for no one. We survival for saliva, darling dears. We know what the trenches feel like, and we are not going back. Oh no, not the, this side of what? The Aquarius, darling dear. The age of Aquarius. As we want tap in, turn up, and claim our share of the $2.3 trillion on the tableau. Never gonna stop talking about it, blood. It's for you to be taken between now and 2026. 20, 20, Public speaking, whatever your creativity is in. Marco Polo, use it. New levels, keep knocking off them devils. Keep, keep, keep rising. We are like oil, we always float to the top. When you realize there is halicins in this world that need to be created, not only in the oceans, with bottom feeders and back front neck stabbing snakes and tree sloth. Did I mention the tree sloth? Yes, baby, they're right up there with the echo praxic. Taking note and trying to be you. Imagine that. Last night, not last night, about two, three nights ago, I was in my bed, minding my own, you know, you're in your bed, minding your own business. And I was contacted by someone claiming to be what? Scent Star 555. They said their name was Tisa. I even kept, kept, kept this. It's a scammer, darling, dear. I said, really? They said that they had something special to tell me. Listen, me and God is like this, you know. Nobody needs to come with me to me with any messages. Let me show you what they did. Right? Somebody tells Sense Star, right? Not only are they copying her, right? They've even um, um, added her website to it to make it seem more authentic. So I said, oh, I've watched your videos for a time. Can, she said, they said, can they do a reading for me? So I said, sure, let me hear your voice. Up to now, I'm still waiting for the recorded message of this person, right? Where is it? Somebody sells, tell Sense Star 555. This is what it looks like. I've blocked them for all eternity, right? What's the next message they sent me? Look. Saying that they're sent star 555 and they've got an important message, right? They've even, this, these scammers are, listen, there is something else, blood. They linked up her websites and all of her, she's naive to it. And I told you, they, they was pretending to be me, telling me, telling you 
that you must support, right, some Igbo-speaking orphans in Nigeria when it was really, really somebody called Mr. Adabo after your skrilla and your common sense. Them wicked. Them wicked. When you're anointed and you are, you are what? Pointed out as a high priestess, sent to, sent to teach and guide. They take your work and take the piss. Somebody tell her. They've got a website, everything connected up to this. Everything except an email address. Mm -hmm. Anyhow, let me continue with this because I'm telling you, the Skull Douglas is strong in them streets, blood. Crown, them chang, chang. Mm -hmm. Let's carry on, darling dears. Let's call in the energies of guidance and protection before we go into this read. Energy's up. Let's dive in, big cats. Let's dive in. Because I'm telling you, the Skull Douglas haven't forgotten you, darling dear. And their hating has been turned up. Why? Because they didn't see it for you. They'd rather see you dead than succeed. They're not happy when your progeny is doing what they're supposed to get in great like their, their parentages. No! Right. Let's dive in, big cat. See what the energy is around you. Let's go with the witch's oracle. Big energy around the big cat. Let's see what's going on in our chronicles. Oh, oh, candles. Big cat, somebody's made a wish. Or wishing for your downfall, darling dear. This speaks about what the magic of the universe, understanding how to what? Bend the matrix, realizing what? Whatever you've wished for, you are about to what? Blow out the candles and your deepest desires being granted unto thee. I told you, as what? The sun is in Scorpio and squares Jupiter in Capricorn. Contracts, darling dear, contracts offerings, blessings, whatever it is, whatever you've been focusing on, be prepared for incoming, darling dear. When you can constantly, what? Keep working at, be committed to a, a new way of living, a new way of being. You think nothing's happening, but everything's going on in the background, the spirit world, darling dear. And sometimes you've got to get the scuppers out of your way before you can be blessed. Because it will be wasted, squandered, and you will be beaten down into other worth for making that step into greatness. Mm -hmm. Base of the deck, darling dear. Oh, all the cards are slipping off. Base of the deck, initiation. What did I say? Spirit has your back. Somebody has come full circle. I also see what? Some documentation. Something that you've signed. An agreement, possibly with yourself, darling dear. Agree that you are not, I repeat, going back to the place that broke you. They can't save you, darling dear. They don't know how to save themselves. They only know, to, know how to what? Walk up and down on your forehead, blood. Mm -hmm. And take the piss and go past that and take a shit, darling dear. You know your life. Mm -hmm. This is also speaking about what? Your initiation, your upgrade. Somebody have upgraded in such a way that when you walk into a room, you are emitting light. You are automatically happy. So what? The doppelgangers, the echo praxic, are going to try and what? Copy your gangster. But you know it's fake, darling dear. It's fake because you are living your best life and it shows in everything that you do. In everything that you do. Mm -hmm. we can keep it. We're keeping that. What else? Let's get one, get one more energy. I think I need to speak to you and you need to see that I'm speaking to you. How about that? Yeah. Mm -hmm. One more energy for the big cats. Thank you, yo. Baby, TikTok. This is also masculine energy. This also speaks about something coming to fruition. Time has run out. Whatever you put into play, darling dear. It's about, it's about what? Kickoff season. 
Somebody's also realizing that what time has run out on them. They waited, they waited, and they waited too long to try and come back. They should have come back when you were still crusty of lip and confused of eye. Now you are turned up. When you look at them, there is hundreds of pairs of, of eyes looking through your eyes. Your ancestral team said, baby, honey pie, sweetie, darling, sugar plum, you are the what? The head of the lineage. You are the one. <laughs> They got to, they got together and said, you, you are the one that is going to break generational cycles, create generational wealth, right? Lead through your creative. I know you wasn't ready, mm -hmm. but you got to be darling, dear. When you are big cat, you own your gangster at every turn, every turn. Mm -hmm. Somebody waited too late, right? Can you see? It's nearly at 10, 10. As you're about to make your breakthrough, somebody's going to try and reappear. Why? Because they see it coming full circle. This also speaks about a birthday wish. Somebody wished something at their birthday. Or they made a solemn promise to themselves on their birthday that certain things would never go down again, darling dear. And you stuck to that shit. Drinking, addictive behaviors, addicted to people, addicted to being a people pleaser. Let me tell you something about people pleasing. If you've got to, if you've got to be texting someone or phoning them or sending an email, right? So that they can know that you've not been around. You're wasting your time, blood. Are you mad? They didn't miss you. You don't have a kidney for them. The only time they pay attention to you is if you owe them money or if you're going through F shit. You know this. Think is up. Base of the deck, darling, you're tapping to your imagination, your wildest dreams and desires. This is about conceive, believe and achieve. We have the energy of what a 20. This is judgment, darling, dear. This talks about what your steps being divinely ordered, your divine calling. This is a new beginning. Mm -hmm. When judgment turns up, darling, dear, it also tells you to what be the liberator in your life. Always be on the move, darling dear. Law 48 of the 48 laws of power. Constant change. You have to be a rolling stone, darling dear. Because you don't need to be gathering the moss. Because in the moss is tree sloth with algae in their fur. Mm -hmm. Coming through with a soul tie for you. Mm -hmm. We're not having it, blood. As we what? Pull back up our sleeves. Hey, hey. Right. It's, it's a If it's going to be this one, let it be this one, darling dear. Answers, answers, right? This is the God rune amongst them. Mm -hmm. It also speaks about your ancestral team, I told you. Some kind of wish, something that you've been focused on, determined to get, right? This is about the backative, darling dear. You have that strength in the spiritual world. This is why when I say many times, when they're casting their aspersions, their spells, their lying, their spying, the gossip and all of that, they don't know who's caping for you in a spiritual world. Because if you look back at your life, big cat, over the past 12, 24, 36, 48 months, you are not the same cat. You have the whip, darling dear, Khaleesi and Carl. You know your worth. And then don't like it. Well, good for them. Ancestors is represented by the letter A. It's also represented by the Magician card in Tarot. In the upright, I might add, your table is set. This is about you having all of the tools. It also speaks about acting swiftly. We already saw initiation and blowing out the candles and TikTok. A contract. Something is coming towards you, darling dear. And it's going to change your life in such a way that you didn't even believe. This is your time. Know this. Mmm. Mm. The magician also speaks about what your intention does, darling dear. Your intentions, you must always set your intentions for how you want it to go. Otherwise, you'll be given whatever. And time is of the essence, darling dear. We move swiftly as big cats. And silently, I might add, Easter Island Stevie Wonder. Tell no one nothing, blood, nothing. Needs to know basis. And the left hand don't know what the right is doing, blood. Mm -mm. Because when these dotty are ready to get tough, they don't care about your hairline. 
Go your sanity, darling, dear. Mm-mm. Not one fig or a good goddamn about what you've got going on. They want you brown bread. Oh, batshit crazy, get in a big fancy. In a padded cell. Wittering on about yesterday. Let me tell you something. You're only as good as your latest achievement. What you achieve today, darling, dears. If even the only achievement is getting out of your bed. Some of you are still going through it because you haven't understood how to detach. Why do you think I have Buddha everywhere? Buddha's quick to listen, blood. Slow to speak. You need to understand your situation, your place, and your purpose on this Malkuf. Go for your birth natal chart, the most important document you'll ever have. This is about knowing thyself. Right, right hand is itching me. Scratch with me, big cat, because Pentecale is a foot, darling, dear. Mm-hmm. And we are gatherers. Money loves us. In a crowd, money will seek us out. Why? Because we won't make it feel nervous. We won't push it out the door. No, no, we take care of money. We show it how to invest. We show it how to work on multiple streams of income. That's a domino. Big Cat Chronicles continues. The Emperor, darling, dear. This also could talk about a same-sex relationship. Somebody's coming into union. This also speaks about bossing up. And in the background, you've got a back front neck stabbing snake. When you see the double, we have to read one in the reverse. This speaks about somebody who what abused their position of power with you. Mm-hmm. They didn't. They didn't. They didn't think. They didn't thunk that you'd that you'd leave, that you wouldn't come back, Scotty. Not for all the tea in China. You'd rather be what? There's no rather than being with this person. That was the bottom of it, mate. <laughs> There's not worse than that, blood. No. Mm-mm. Especially the one that came and blessed you into waking up. Mm-hmm. The energy of the four darling dears. Lean in, big cat. Lean in. It comes with an eight. It speaks about what trouble is coming. Someone has been blame shifting and they're blaming you. Your name is being shouted in duos and troubles. Yes, baby, in a throuple. They're talking about you. Trying to blame everything on you, darling dear. Narcissistic to the core. High commander Decepticons are feeling displaced because you bossed up on bitches and liches, left, right and center. And you wasn't even trying. All you was doing was healing thyself. Mm-hmm. They don't like it. Well, good. They're going to have to learn to love that shit quietly. This also speaks about an invitation is coming your way. The double four. To a party, some kind of business meeting. Somewhere where you simply must attend, darling. Yeah. And you better go representing the cats. Yes, baby. Overdressed, never overdressed. <laughs> never comfortable in what you bring towards you. This is about you, what? Claiming dominion over, dominion over yourself. Protector and provider. Also remember, oh, what's the matter with my talk? Somebody doesn't want me to speak today. Karmic. You know that I'm full of it. And I'm persistent. Ha <laughs> ha! As I was saying. Right? Mm-hmm. The energy of the four, darling. This speaks about communication. This talks about incoming at a hot trot. I said invitation, contract, a business deal, right? Somebody's been checking out your lines, darling, dear, and they're about to offer you something that's going to change your status. Mm-hmm. As you rise, somebody's got to fall, darling, dear. Those that try to what bring you down with their behaviors. If you are co-parenting, a reversed emperor is a high commander Decepticon. They don't, they care not one thing about the progeny unless it what serves them. Mm-hmm. Lot going on. The energy of the eight also speaks about what Leo energy, strength, darling, dear. And courage. Not everybody is as brave to walk the path that, path that you are. Do. Listen, what's going on? Look at that shit. Somebody's fishing. Somebody's spying on you at the moment. Can you see it? Them sitting by their riverbank. Riv- Listen. Riverbank. Right? 
dipping into the slurry and the slime. Somebody's fishing, trying to find out something to get some, get in where they can fit in. Somebody who is what? Nobody's partner. Somebody you had to leave behind. This is a friend, family member, whatever it was for you. Your ancestral team was sent in. And if they was removed from your life, don't invite them back in. You'll, if you invite them back in, they're gonna rah, 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 rah. Yeah, and I'm gonna say <laughs> I told you, don't go back, always forward. Not on, because when you move on, you move on with baggages. And as Erica Badu said, we pack light. Mm -hmm. Right, let's move on, darling dears. Let's get some tarot on the tableau as I sip my mocha, because I ain't getting smoke blood. I see nothing but butterflies and dragonflies. And what? Ladybirds. Fortune and good luck. Let's get a deck. I'm gonna go with this one. Base of the deck. We've got the Ten of Wands on its face, darling dear. This speaks about what releasing burdens, putting down what no longer serves you. Some of you are putting down what a cigarette, some kind of smoking, you're giving up on that shit. Realize that what? Chasing the dragon is not for you, darling dear. Needing to be clear of mind. Energy around you at this moment in time, I told you. Bottom feeders, the jelly bogelly, those that wanted that hockey sticks adored. This also speaks about fighting and a lot of conflict. Somebody's fighting around you or you're fighting at the moment, big cat. Why are you fighting? Why is the big cat fighting? Oh! Eh, look at this. Look at this lineup. Someone who's on a knife's edge, darling. Dear. Somebody who's got no boundaries. We see what? The Four of Swords. Father God most high on his face, darling, dear Taurus energy and the Queen of Cups. This is an emotional manipulator, somebody who's jealous of you. If it's a female, it's a significant partner of somebody you told to get out. Don't come back. You're weird. <laughs> if they're going for it, they've got Guantanamo Bay. This is a situation that what? defied what was spiritually right for them. They're on a knife's edge, darling. Do you imagine that? Here we are minding our own business, right? Looking forward to the, the initiation that we've passed, right? Waiting for all of our blessings to come in. And somebody's pain and lying, bitter and twisted, right? They listen every time they hear your name and look at what you've got going on, darling dear. It moves their whole hemisphere. Mm-hmm. Their confidence feels less than you. They, they're feeling less than in a situation. They're fighting and your name is always on their lips. Why are you always involved? I don't understand. Big cat knows how to fall back. You're falling back, right? Give me a cat, cat in the comments. Why are they fighting over you? And you're so fabulous, gorgeous, and lovely. Minding your own business, i.e. What's going on? Let's move this back a bit. Yeah, so you can see the cards. Better. They're fighting over you, big cat. They're fighting over you. What's the energy around these fights? Split the deck. King of Wands. Somebody with the unsatisfied eyes. Somebody who likes the attention of others. Right? Yes, baby. Someone who you once said, get out. You're weird. And you don't go with all that I've got going on, which is common sense, darling dear. This person loves the company of many. Look, look, they're even grabbing their own for Tom or Panani under their cloak. They're a sex addict. There's a lot of fighting, possibly because they've been what sticking it in the wrong, the wrong orifice of someone who didn't belong to the couple. It's now a thruple and a quadruple. Multiple people fighting. Yes, but you took the knife out of your back. Fortunately for you, big cat, you cut, you cut that spiritual cord, that soul tie, cat, cat. Oh, so so them, they, them, and um, with the unsatisfied eyes, is having a fight, right? Let's clarify this five of wands. What's go? What's what's the, what's at the bottom of the big fighting? Because we know it's someone you left, right? They'd love to come back. Oh. <laughs> Who's ever fighting, right? 
They're fighting with their person because they couldn't replace you, darling dear. They'd love to rush back in and be the emperor in your life, right? Pay attention to the progeny that has now turned their back on them. Couldn't care less if they was here or not, right? But here's you. This is what you're serving, right? Listen, let me move that out of the way. You're serving the Queen of Swords, all right? Because you see nothing but what? Psychological disorder, broke pocketers, right? Feeling left out in the cold, one amongst many. Listen, this is what they tried to serve to you, and you said, hell no, how now, brown cow? This is what... They're fighting because they would love to come back to you and be the emperor in your life again. We've already discussed what a Judas in a Peter suit looks like. We're not going there again. Will this fighting touch your domicile? No, Vlad! No weapon formed against the big cat shall prosper. You understand that particular line of betrayal, darling dear. I told you, don't ever go back to a situation that broke you. That person was sent as a blessing, not a blessing blocker, as a blessing by your ancestral team to wake your ass up. You've already taken the knife out of your back. Mm -hmm. Somebody's fighting because they have to go and have what? Medical attention, I told you. We already saw the King of Wands dick dealing. Mm -hmm. Had to get out there. Professional, pedestrian, sperm engineer needed to be out there. They're fighting over you and you've, you've left the situation. You've moved towards what? A new beginning. You've got the Wheel of Fortune plus the Ten of Pentacles. This is a stable foundation, having broke a generational curse. You understood to be loyal to yourself first and foremost. This is about attracting your true soul tribe. Some of you have had to move to a new domicile, a new house, a new area in order to gain this peace. You had to go where no one knew your name. And that was fabulous, gorgeous and lovely. Because that area wasn't ready for you, darling dear. You are a spark. You understand your infinite possibilities. You've got the Wheel of Fortune, two tens, darling dear. We already discussed the breakthrough that you're upon. Mm-hmm. That's three tens on the tableau, darling dear. Ten, ten, and ten again. Good golly and gosh. It speaks about what? Somebody's plans, right, are being upset. Their plans are being turned on its head. Making a plan for you. They wanted you to what? Be sad about what was going on. We saw the King of Wands. It could have been a third party situation. It could also mean a disloyal friend. Someone who you what? Gave them the respect of a king. You have to remember, certain people are sent to you to wake you up to everything. Not just one little peccadillo that's going in your life, everything. That you know what, some people are just, a lot of fighting going on here, right? Emotional, emotional being manipulated. And this person is not paying attention to their progeny. But yet, they want to come and give you a cup of opium. They've got an apology for you, darling dear, a tight fit, right? What's trying to peep out? This is why they want to apologize. Because you're healthy, happy, you have a new beginning, a new job. Your pentacle is in the upright and it's the big pentacle, darling dears. I told you! It's them! They, them and arm! Whomever that they, them and arm is to you. This person would love to come back. They want to see if they can get you in the boudoir. Are you that easily, easily pulled off your flip-flop, right? Are you going to allow your what? Good, good, seat of empress and empresses to be perpetrated by a bottom feeder that has multiple attachments, right? The only reason why they're trying to fight to get back to you or fighting with that person because of you, because you couldn't be replaced. You're a kind of what? A once in a lifetime kind of a cat. Hey, Dos for Daniel with two of these and one of those black. Mm-hmm. No boundaries this person had. They're dealing with somebody who's emotionally manipulative. I'm also speaking about an older female who's emotionally manipulative. You've received some kind of come up in this older female's face, right? And they are bitter, twisted, right? You probably got ghosted by them out of nowhere, right? Why? Because you're doing well. And they seen you doing it alone. You are what? Pulling things out of what? Nowhere. You're making something out of nothing. And as I said to you, darling, dear, continue. 
to make the something come out of nothing. In fact, create a spectacle of it, darling dear. Law 37 of the 48 laws of power, darling dears. Create a spectacle, be fabulous, gorgeous, and lovely. Mm -hmm. And remember, don't take this older female back, right? Because they're jealous, they're emotionally manipulative, and this is somebody who is being abused, living in a, an abused romance, darling, yes, where there is no God or no boundaries. This person has been pulled about many a time, right? And they need to block whomsoever they're dealing with, but they're not going to. Why? Because they're addicted to the problems and troubles. You have to remember, right? Some people are addicted to the fighting and being pushed around and being made a bottom feeder while their partner, what? How many people is that? Six people? The partner's sleeping with six people, black. Do they get a chance to wash in between? Right, I don't know. Good hey! That's a wally but nastiness going on there. Why did God why is there not God in that situation? Look at this shit. Chariot card on its face, cancer energy. This person is not spiritually guided. They don't listen to their their higher self speaking. This person feels broken. They, they're not even praying. They're praying for other people's downfalls. This person, this older female that's in a, what an abusive relationship or relationship at this moment in time. They're praying for the downfalls of the other people involved. That their king of wands with the unsatisfied eyes have brought into their life. Before they what minus themselves, they'd rather stay there and fight with their what? Sister wives or sister husbands. Babies, polygamy in their house. Hey, hey, polygamy. Yes, that they didn't sign up for. Mm -hmm. Devil energy, I told you. A lot of addictions, sexual, sexual ties to many, right? Whosoever this older female is, they're in their head blood. They don't know if they're coming or going, right? And everybody's being played by the person in the background, the king of wands, the hooded figure. Who knows everything? Let me tell you something. Full on hobosexual. Falling in, love, falling in love at the drop of a hat. Love bombing. And what? Creating that full on trauma bond. Whomsoever this old, older female is. They're being made a fool of in the streets. People are laughing at their back. Talking about them. While this person is what? Bringing them in. Like Wee Willy Winky. Mm-hmm. Old dog like me, me have the rat them in a two, a pine tree, pipe piper, I be, yeah! They kick their way out during the evening to go and get more what? Tray sloth on the roster. This older female is going through it blood. Yes. And she still wants the cup of love from that king of wands with the unsatisfied eyes who's watching you build. You're building, darling dear. Change, true change. Healthier choices, more stable foundations. Right, let's get another deck. Get some more messages up. See what else is going on. Skull Douglas. <laughs> yes, be a bit of my go through it. Let them go through it. Didn't they let you go for it? Base of the deck, darling dear. I told you. Knife's edge. Somebody's sleeping on a knife's edge. They're going through lying spine and it's affecting them in their mind. This person is what? On a ruminating rabbit. Ham was it? No. Hamster wheel. Not a rabbit. What's about a rabbit? Rabbit is about slow and steady progress. Yes, be a bit. They're slowly going into madness. Uh -huh. Tick tock. What else? What other messages are coming up today for the big cat? Yes, baby. You went through it, darling. Yeah, this is the wounded warrior. Mm -hmm, the nine of wands. But it also speaks about your spiritual strength. About you standing up. Yes, you can look back, but don't stay there too long, darling. Yeah. You scupper in season. This is about you taking the lesson and using that resilience to move forward towards your passions. Why? Knight of Wands. This, I'm going to read it a different way. Because yes, we know it's a dick dealing card, but it also speaks about you, what? Moving quickly towards a new adventure, a new beginning. Something that's going to ignite the, your fire, your passions, darling dear, your creativities. This is about you, what? Putting an effort into what you want to go on. Ten of Wands so that you can release the burdens of the past. This is about you living a different way. Some of you are actually dancers, 
right? We've also got the King of Swords. This is a, this can also be a God card. This is about protector and provider. This is about you being pushed, right, to move towards your passions and your creativities. Find it in your birth natal chart. North node all day, always. You're being guided to, to a different level. Whomsoever you left in the back, darling dear, they're watching you, Sputnik, on the World Wide Web, no less. A chapter, a book that you closed. Mm -hmm. World card, represented by what? Earth as well as Saturn energy. This also speaks about you being a guide. Some of you have to realise your testimony is going to be a map and a guide to others. Get your stories out out there by any means necessary i told you 2.3 trillion dollars on the tablet you don't want some of that big cat he didn't like cake what's the matter with you come on our chronicles must continue by any means necessary this is a new beginning for you some of you are going to realize that you're going to be parenting right and you are going to become the whole world of your progeny so you have to remember even if they look like they're not looking they're watching everything you do and you have to show them how it's done mm -hmm. look that same reverse emperor the bringer of the darkness the scourge this an absentee parent. Why aren't they around? Right? God, did, listen. Look at that shit. God is looking down at this person, you know. Every one of their actions have been marked off. I told you. Those same candles they wanted to blow out on you. Blow out that light. That inner guidance. That special je ne sais quoi that you carry, right, in your blueprint, darling dear. They wanted to blow it out. But guess what? TikTok that, that she's naive on them. And we are what? We are at 10.08, almost at breakthrough. Whatever you've been doing, Big Cat, don't stop. Continue. In fact, spend more time on it because the King of Swords is about knowledge, darling dear. And I've told you many times, knowledge is power. And power is power. Oh, hell yes. I'll have nothing else said. Mm -hmm. Dropping down and getting their eagle. And this talks about what Father God looking at this person who destabilized your cranium. The high commander Decepticon, right? This cold person that used their emotions to pull you used your emotions to pull you around. A doppelganger to the truth. Mm -hmm. Always coming back up. This person in particular, the one that cut to your white meat. The one that gave you the deepest cut. This is the one that's sitting down and con contemplating you as you dance to the beat of the universe, darling dear. They can't believe your strength and resilience. Your bounce back game is for the gods. Nobody knew the suffering that you went through, darling dear, in order to get to this new beginning, a new chapter. I told you, you can write a new chapter at any time that you want, base of the day. Because success is assured. Some of you are singers actually standing on a stage. Mm -hmm. This also speaks about a new beginning. I told you, somebody's about to step into the spotlight. You are being recognized. Get your shit out there online. You don't know who's watching you. This is about being blessed in their faces, darling dear. Mm -hmm. Well, all while being solo dolo like the girls on the Oh, yes, baby. Trust no one. Come through, goosey, bad ass. Posh, clap. You did a what? Bombs over Baghdad. Come through, outcast. Posh, clap. When Father God said to you, what? Meet me at the borderline. You said, okay. Posh, clap. This is about you being able to manage your responsibilities. You've been what? Blessed with an eight on your forehead. This is what Dharma, darling, dear. We already saw the Weed of Fortune. This is full on change. The changes that you've made, you've got initiation and you're about to step to a new level. And as you step to a new level, there's another devil you're gonna have to take down, darling dear. We already saw the energy of the devil, right? The Capricorn energy, addictions, things that are going to what? Keep you bound and stuck. Let nothing 
have dominion over you, darling dear. You must know when to put the glass of wine down, when to put the Bob Marley's down for one day, when to what? When to do the exercises, when to eat the right foods. Let nothing have dominion over you. If you can't put it down and not look back, you are being controlled. This is about letting go of what binds you in order to get what the universe is about to gift you with. Putting it down, darling dears. Someone's broken hearted. Oh my God, how dare they? You came out with what? Barely a hairline. Some of you was either too fat or too skinny after they sorted you out. And they are, they've got the cheek, right? To be broken hearted. Look what's underneath that. Because divine is gifting you with the ten of pentacle. Because you realize that you know what? You was arguing with simpletons and feeble minded. And from a distance, they didn't know who was the chicken head, right? Shouting what? Crumb, 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 crumb. You don't argue. You respond and you don't react. You care not that their heart is broken over the fact that you've managed to find a stable foundation. This is the tree of life. This is the fool's journey. Having been on a particular fool's journey that was sent to awaken you, you've been given a new lease on life. A new job, a stable foundation, a new home, the Pentecalis to decorate said home, a new vehicle, a chariot of righteousness. You had to sit in that heartbreak in order to what? Make a breakthrough, darling dear. What's the matter? Where's my deck of the wicked? Where is it? Oh, there it is. What's their problem, blood? Can't we even have five minutes to ourselves? No! We don't ask for much. Just because we deserve it. Ace of Pentacle. Yes, baby. Somebody what? Tied up in the I told you. Mentally ruminating over the big cat. Really? They better keep it at 60 feet, blood. Because we're not having it. Where's my name? Some people can't come back, blood. They can't come back, blood. <laughs> Not even in your thoughts. They can't come back. Right? Look. Whomsoever this reverse emperor is, is a merchant of slander, effing, skin peeling, liar. Right? That if you dare smack their lying face, you'll be in shackles, big cat, and they'll put you in prison for premeditated murder. Don't do it. You hit them up with what? what you've achieved darling dear hit them up with the knowledge that your true loyalty this is unconditional love that was given to somebody who gave you red flags and you tried with they're being hit up in their cranium on a regular basis of what they had in their hands and look what happened they'd exploded darling dear rather than feed into you and work as part of the team oh no they wanted to what dig holes in your boat and then lie about it and say you did it. Listen, the gaslighting was real, darling dear. Real. PTSD is real. I had PTSD. Still got it. And anxieties. You must be joking. I lead with my third eye, otherwise not coming, blood. <laughs> teeth and a lion. Told you. A teeth and a teeth of your time and lying about it. Right? What is this? What is this? They've got an itchy and scratchy show, darling. Something's going on in their pantaloons, right? Mm -hmm. Of the mind, body, or the soul, right? And in some cases, this is a death sentence. They're trying to seek medical help, right? And they want what? Spiritual, some kind of spiritual treatment. Let me tell you something. They're going to the dark side. They're trying to get something to what? Get off the rinse and repeat. It can't wash off, mate. When you've been caught up on a soul level, and Father God is sat here, looking down on all what you did. And now they got the cheek to be crying into their fist like a full on bitch or Mitch. Right? This is what? Religion and your spirituality. This is your ascension time, darling. Your breakthrough. You are on your purpose, foot in both worlds. This is why you have to be careful. This is why your mind has to be clear. Because you will be judged. Oh, nobody escapes that. Your mind has to be clear. 
This is where you have to put down and understand the lesson of what you went through, darling dear. Right? And continue to what? Keep living your truth. Roof. Pinkies up. Right? They're going to try black magic, but no weapon formed against the big cat shall prosper. Claim dominion over yourself, darling dear. Psalms 91. Psalms 121. Psalms 51. And guard your heart chakra. Because from your heart springs the well of life and they will use black magic to distort it, darling dears. What else? What? I can't make it up. You are a breakthrough. They didn't see it for you, but they watch from the nosebleed sections and realize that you've stumbled onto something great. Whatever you did, big cat, continue. Mm -hmm. They want to know where you came from. Your mother and your father, blood. What do you mean, where did you come from? Yes, you are an earth angel. Well, they realize these things after you're gone, darling, dear. Tell them to stick a pin in it. <laughs> oh, my gosh. We're just going to look at the top one because a lot fell out then. What's this? Abundance, darling, dear, on every level. I told you, once you get into the rhythm of the universe and find your birth name, chart and start embodying it on a daily basis right exemplifying it in fact all your earthly needs are met you know this what oh they're getting readings on you i told you they're trying to find out how they can fit in and get in or see if you are using any form of magic or spells to get no you're not blood You're not. When you are anointed and blessed, darling dear, your ancestral team will come at the most inopportune time, put you in the DNS so that you can recognize and realize you're their figurehead blood. Mm -hmm. And they're pissed off with you. Mm -hmm. No, was it? They know they lost a real one. They're seeing you continue to be a winner. You are practical and stable, darling dears. And your money is long. Mm -hmm. Well, good for them. What's this? Why are you doing better than without you, without me? Why are you doing better without them? The toxic, right? Those that when you were sleeping with the enemy, the jealous ones. Those that beat you. How dare you get a promotion? How dare you? Boss up in their presence. They will tear you down or ignore you. You have to go like this. Am I really alive? Listen, we ain't got time to be pinching ourselves to see if we're alive. Spirit knows. And your bank account agrees. Mm -hmm. Right. Are we done? No, we want to use these. Right. This is my FP555 Oracle Intel Dex. There are two. The Phoenix from the Ashes or the Big Cat with the Whip, darling dear. I put them together because I said many times, who gonna check me, boo? Nobody. Out of the back. Look at this. I told you the unsatisfied dig dealer. Mattress back. The animal in a kitten or Cuban heel. Jealous, envy, and they hate you. They eat your eyelashes. They hate everything about you. They hate the way your nostril flutters blood when you're breathing in the air, free for all. And jealous. What did I say? On the balls of their feet, darling dear. Saying this and saying that on your this and that. Continue with your Lazarus. Right? Don't get smoked on that note, darling dears. I drops me mics. And once I remove my spectacles of truth, I can't see it for you. You know I can't see without my glasses. Toddle over to Teesprings. Toddle over to Patreon. Or simply come back here, as I will, with the intel. As I said, big cat, every teeth is a liar. And every liar is a thief. You need to know your wheat from your chaff, darling dear. And you're about to be blessed and bossing up even more. And as you get to a new level, you're going to have to kick down a new devil, darling dear. They haven't forgotten you. And they've got what? Infinite supply. They are in legion, no less, to try and take a big cat down. I think not, Scotty. Eh? I think not. How to put my back into it. And as I always say... Don't get smoked. And don't smoke yourself, please. From the ashes, baby. Namaste. Yes. Namaste, big cat. Popping back later on. Keep fighting.
fight in that fight. When the going gets tough, you don't give up. When the dirty get rough, you don't give up. When there seems no way out, you don't give up. You say, how now, brown cow? Nothing like a cat with a prayer and a plan that you use in silence. We are in what? Stealth mode. Double O Big Cat, don't you know? Pink is up. No mistakes. Yes. Key it to them, Big Cat. Chuck it to them, Big Cat. Don't stop.